What's your name? What grade are you in? And what is your pathway? Uh, I'm Brighton Hanchett. I'm in 10th grade, and I do a pathway in 3D printing. Bryce Quentin, grade 12, and for pathways, I do game design. My name is Brennan Butler. I'm in the 12th grade. Um, like trading cards on the computer, so mm -hmm. I guess. Greg Jenkins, 12, digital film. Why are you in Pathways? Uh, I'm in Pathways because it's fun. It's something different. It's not the traditional way of learning, and you're able to learn many of the things that you learn in school on your own independently and in a way that's just easier and much more fun than traditional learning. I'd say I'm in Pathways because the traditional school environment never really worked with me. And after years of trying and failing with the traditional way, I'm just, you know? When do you do your pathway? I do it first thing in the morning from about 8 when class starts to 10. And then from about 1.30 to 3 here. And then I'll work on it at home on Tuesdays and Thursdays. What's your feeling about pathways? My feeling about Pathways is that it's absolutely amazing. The people in it are great. It's like a family. Um, it's just a great time. You get to do what you love. I have literally found my passion through Pathways. I would like to pursue this as a career, and if it weren't for Pathways, I probably would have never found what I love to do. How long have you been in Pathways? This is my second year in Pathways. I started in ninth grade. I uh, just officially started it at the beginning of this year. I would say about two years. Three years. Why is your pathway considered learning? You can learn so much through 3D printing. You learn technology, math, uh, some history, especially at the beginning. I was doing some history on 3D printing. Um, but the biggest things that you learn are science and math, really, and technology. I'd say it's because <clears throat> it's allowed me to do my own research into things that interest me. I get to learn about, in my case, uh, the armored vehicles of World War II. And a lot of these things I wouldn't know if I didn't go out and search for it myself.